now we gotta get this finished before the rain comes. To live in the mountains, it rains, you never know, it just rains. Getting the aluminum off, first time took these staples out and um, this is what we got. So there's plywood underneath, which is different. And we have the exposed roof for the camper. I don't know if this is too much, you know, it's like going into too much detail showing all this old crap, but you know what? I know if I was redoing a camper or building one from scratch and had nothing to reference, this would be better than nothing. We got animal damage, varmints. Chewed a whole hole, a whole hole in there and they built that nest down in there where the fridge was back in the other video for those who are following. And we got, you know, anybody wondering why their clearance lamps aren't working? Well, you know, varmints, rodents. They just chew because they like chewing on stuff, I think. We're gonna get some measurements. Measuring, figuring out a cut sheet for lumber. That's it. One down. Early this morning, got up, went to Lowe's, got some more lumber for the roof. This is what we got. And the bed of the Chevy, no less. Okay, getting the framework just laid out on the ground here for the center joist. The, I got fairing strips one by three. Now that this is gonna be the tricky part because they're inch and a quarter on the ends and then they're a big radius and goes up to two and a half and then comes back down like an arch. Okay. This guy right here is the ticket. This is the center line right here. You can see it. Center line. Pivot this right about here, right? Pivot. And then you line that up down there. You strike or you trace that. And then that's your line. That's your new line. And then you have a symmetrical arc. Here we have a basic framework. We are just cruising along here. The roof framework, not complete, but pretty darn close, okay? This is the front here, and then uh, you can see the um, tapered joist. Front roof panel complete framework, that is. That piece of plywood right there is to support, I'm assuming it's to support a, uh, air conditioning unit if we were to install one and then this is the hatch or the vent hatch whatever you're going to call it above the bunk paneling is installed and screwed down and screwing it down is by far the time consuming part. Now to cut out the required openings and the end here. First screw for the roof. Hopefully it works. Ready? Sounded good. All 
All right, so we got the front section of the roof panel on, and then there's an overhang here of the panel that's just free ball, and there's no support end piece, um, but there is a side you know, piece to support it. So now we have the angled part of the roof panel built, and we have it schmutzed up, and construction adhesive that is. And we're gonna slide it. We have the panel, the roof panel right here. The uh, this part of the framework is overhanging half halfway, so it'll Jenga piece into this one like a puzzle. We're gonna slide this thing forward and uh, screw it down. We're gonna slide it, and we'll just go all the way home. Actually, lift it. Lift. Are you yeah. able to? Yep. Say? It's a box. Three That's months it. and it's a box. That's what we have to say. We have one box. And now we start filling in the box with more wooden things and stuff. Tired. And it's just a box. All that work and we got a box. But it's good. Because. That's it! That's the last one. We got the box. And now you can actually look in there and it kind of looks like, well, it does look like, because it is the camper. Check it out. Check it out. This is it. Go far away. There's the doorway, and here I am at the. The front wall here, we got the front windows, here's the vent here, this is the secondary vent here, this is the refrigerator uh, access, or vent, and for the fridge, propane tank storage, this will be the sink, you know, you do your dishes, that's a window here, that's the hot water heater, and here's the stove, flipping, what are we flipping, grilled cheese. And then there's a little exhaust vent. I don't even have one of these in my house. Anyway, um, window. This is kind of be a seat. There's another window. And another window. <laughs> Exterior shower hookup. This is the heater right here. This corner right here is the entire bathroom with a window. And you sit, this is where you poop. That's how you poop. Exterior storage compartment and then rear window. So there you go. It is a box. It's been a long time coming for this. We're proud of it. We're proud of it. So, we got a lot of stuff in ahead of us, obviously. I'm gonna shut the lights off and go to bed. Good night. <laughs>